Okay, so forgive me as I start this, but we've got these hideous, I hate showing this part of the, the white box, but this is a monstrous, monster, mondo release. So today we are going to be dealing with the vinyl action figure of Biolante from Mondo. I already said Mondo, and I'm going to say Mondo again. As you can see, the box is sweet. It is a soft vinyl figure. The artwork is stunning. It's still inside the bag. I so don't want to take it out of the bag because it's perfectly preserved, as it will always be until I take it out of the bag. It is gorgeous. As you can see, the artwork blends from side to side. We'll just keep spinning it. We've got tentacles going everywhere. The artwork is by the phenomenal and fantastic Tom Whalen, better known as Strong Stuff. You can see his stuff on Instagram. I have several of Tom Whalen's art prints. I have some personal stuff. I have t-shirts that he's even done. I even have a, a Star Trek watch that Tom Whalen has done. He is easily one of my favorite modern day artists. I didn't know that Tom was doing the Biolante figure for Mondo. So, when I requested it for Mon and I asked Mondo, can you send it out to me? They're like, yeah, sure. So I'm opening the box and I'm freaking out. My wife comes running in. She said, what's the matter? And she goes, is it damaged? And I said, no, Tom did the box. And we were just in awe. We were just so happy to see Tom getting this kind of artwork on something that he loves. And, and I know Tom personally, um, been following his career for a long time and Tom loves Godzilla. So this is really a dream project for him to do. And he's done tons of Mondo posters. I've, oh, I've been trying to bid on them forever now on secondary markets, trying to get the Astro Zombies, uh, Astro Zombies, Astro Monster, really just want that one. Uh, but his posters are so hard to come by and they go for hundreds of dollars. So I have several in my own personal collection, um, but that one seems to be escaping me as of late. So let's open this figure up. I've talked way too much. This is officially licensed by uh, Toho, and, Toho and Godzilla. So let's get this bag open. Oh, I always hate tape on these bags because I'm always afraid it's going to rip the artwork. And, you know, action figures and stuff are really cool, but... You know, this is the artwork is is for me. It's one of the great things that Mondo does, and I have several of the Mondo vinyls. I have, uh, I think I may only have like four Mondo posters, tops, four Mondo posters. Um, but to actually get something done by Tom, now as you can see, the artwork's a lot better here. Clear, nice, neat. Biolante is fantastic. By the way, Godzilla vs. Biolante. I had to look this up. Uh, Biolante is actually Godzilla's half-sister that's crazy that's weird of course it is but oh just i actually went to tom's uh facebook page his instagram and got the artwork i'm going to put it up here so you can see what it looks like as one whole piece <laughs> really really just love the details the artwork i'm actually probably just going to put this box out um and be able to turn it from time to time when people come over they know what's that oh, it's by and then i'm gonna have to explain it who it is but some of my friends will go is that tom whalen and i will go yes and they're going like oh okay i get why you have it now we'll cut that tape real nice and easy i really hope i don't cut anything else out um and as you can as you saw in the artwork um we were able to actually just show you every angle of the box and how it folds Okay, so we are back here and we clearly have him. This is how he came packaged, or she, how she came packaged. We're going to get her out of the bubble here, but I'm looking for some. I don't think there's any tape. It certainly doesn't feel like any tape. Yeah, oh, that always scares me when you do stuff like that. But I'm going to put Biolante. It looks like the weight of Biolante goes that way. And... I don't know if I mentioned it. I'm sorry. I'm going to mention it again. I do have the Midnight Bloom variant. So that's, I have a different version of it. Now this retailed for $125. It was, as I'm unpackaging here, it was designed by Hector R RC or ARC. We're going to, I'm just going to go with RC. And as I said, Tom Whalen did the box and there's another designer that's credited here. And I'm, I'm uh, please forgive me, Gabe uh, Sissone. Um, I, I, I'm guessing that you probably were part of the painting, um, but I'm not exactly 100% sure. And as I pull off this 
incredible detail. I am in awe of this awesome, awesome vinyl figure um, that the three of you all contributed your art and expertise to. It is really weird and really awesome and really bizarre and probably too terrifying to put out for my three-year-old child. <laughs> All right. All right. So I brought it back in uh, just a little bit uh, closer so we don't have to see the edges of the white box. But we do have points of articulation here, which really surprised me. Um, you know, we can turn these arms. Uh, we can turn the bitey uh, claw hands here. Really lightweight, I would say. It, I wouldn't say that it's very heavy. The box itself is only four pounds for the shipping. Uh, the exterior Mondo box. Uh, mine was... My box, the exterior box was damaged, but thankfully all the artwork and everything, Tom's stuff was not damaged. Ooh, this is cool. All right, so here we have the Toho copyright, but we also have Mondo burned into the bottom of it. We're just showing it off here. Now, the, the pictures did do it justice um, when they were on the website um, and when you purchased this, but I, I don't know if I'd want the original. Uh, this, this Midnight Bloom one is just so psychedelic and crazy. It's a shame this doesn't turn inside here, but I've got a couple of Godzilla little items from Diamond Select. I've also got a bank from Diamond Select that's pretty massive. Um, I think that that bank would probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this here um, and work out really well um, if I were to put two. But, you know, the colors here, everything is really, really pop. I mean, it's a gorgeous beast of a vinyl figure. Um but it, again, I'm running into the fact that I have a three-year-old. This is pretty scary, and I've got to figure out what I want to do. But it, the colors just blend and pop and just work in such a way that it, you're looking at a piece of art. And that's that's really what Mondo has done. They've really elevated the collector um, fanboy market to a new level. Sure, certainly the price is high. Um, they are tougher to get, and that makes it more fun and definitely special and unique when you get one so that's something i've come to really appreciate i have several mondo pieces in the action figure realm i have several vinyls but like the creature from the black lagoon is is a centerpiece in our collection we have all the universals lined up um you can watch the review of that on uh, our sites plus i also have um I was gonna. I also have several of the He Man's, and you know, as a as a kid who grew up with He Man, this is great. Now I've gotten into Godzilla because of Diamond Select Toys and Mondo, and uh, I got the the box set uh, last Christmas of all the, all of them released through Criterion. Uh, well, at least about twenty years worth, but just crazy conversation piece. And I've got to give it back. Uh, you know, g give my props up that to me. As a collector and a fan of Mr. Tom Whalen, uh, strong stuff. Whew. To get a piece of his artwork in a box that's going to be displayed with the figure uh, is just, it's the chef's kiss, it's the coup de gras, it's the icing on the cake, it's all of that. Uh, thank you, Mondo. I absolutely love Biolante. And I have to watch the movie. I, I hate saying that, but I've got to watch the movie now. Um, this is Bob from Total Recon freaking out because this thing is just beyond cool. Have a good night.